Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today, I want to discuss about this question. Describe the function of computer. Computer is a machine that only can execute instructions that given by the user and operate the database on the related instruction. The computer will process the data to produce information. The four main functions of computer is the first one, data processing. Data processing is the core function of the computer. Processing involves manipulation of raw data and converting it into a mini meaningful information. A computer is able to calculate the data that you enter and turn it into information. The computer is able to do this because of the central processing unit CPU. Its main function is processing all the commands given to it. Second, equally important, very important function is data and information storage. Computers come with two types of memories, RAM and ROM. RAM is a temporary temporary storage location on the computer. ROM is permanent and the data save on is vital for making your computer start. A computer can store information internally and externally. The third one is input. The input function of computer gathers data and allows a user to input data. Some of the most of common input devices are keyboard which allow for type of data and the mouse which allow for response entry. The fourth one is output. Output devices allow a computer to send processes data in various form. Most of the time most of the time this information is sent as text, pictures, sound and videos. Many people use several output devices at the same time such as monitors, speakers and printers. Okay, that's all that I can talk about the function of computer. Thank you. Hello people, I am Elisa McJackson. Today, I will talk about why do people have an idea to play computers. Now guys, computer has become one of the fun in our daily life. Computer can make our jobs become easier. Computer will free to drive computers and user crazy. The computer was really in pain twice, once by Charlie Flickbatch. I'm pretty sure they had a complete that remarkable one. But in reality, computers were free for the same reason as every tool was made to make our life easier. In addition, people create computers because a long time ago, humans are using their fingers and stones to do the calculations. At the same time, they are trying to print an apparatus that would facilitate the calculation process. After a few trial, finally the complex and advanced calculation system has been produced and it is known as a computer. So next, the software can make some things that are easy or very hard. But at the end of the day, the benefits outweigh the disadvantage. From the adventures to slide rooms to mechanical devices to relay based computers to the modern electronic computers has changed our lives and made them easier. So, in conclusion, computer gives us many benefits. Computer is a machine that only can execute instructions that are given by the users and to collect the database on the relayed instructions. The computer will be processed the data to produce information. So, I think people free computer to make our life become more easier than before. Thank you very much. That's all for so. The next question will be presented by Rafi.
Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Rafi'i bin Cheikpa and here in this video I will explain to you the reason that causes the evolution of computer. Firstly and of course the development of thinking and human renewal ideas themselves. We believe the expert at that time think harder on how to develop the computer become more easier and accessible by many people. That's why the computer has faced many generation, generation by generation and until today, the human still use computer thanks to the greatness of their thinking. Secondly, the wastage of cost, time and manpower was also the reason why computer evolution happened. Before the existence of computer, humans being find it difficult to communicate each other and have to use the pigeons as tool of communication. It is also difficult to make calculation in their daily business. When the first generation of computer was introduced, it's still not usable by many people in a large scale and it was said the weight of the first generation of computer has reached almost 30 tons and used 18,000 vacuum tubes per one computer and I believe no people at that time afraid to buy it but don't worry the expert at that time think harder make a research making a research to develop the computer and face many generation and until today all of us are able and effort to buy our own smartphone and laptop clearly the evolution of computer helped people a lot since time immemorial even though this evolution take a long time period to change and develop but still this evolution fulfill the current needs of human being according the passage of time thank you hi everyone my name is aina nabila jupia for the next question i would like to share to you guys about the several factors that encourage the changes to computer generation first of all i would like to share a short stories of computer generation the first generation of computer were very large, expensive, and requires a huge amount of electricity. The ENIAC, Electrical Numerical Integrator and Calculator, was the first generation of computer. Meanwhile, the second generation used transistors or vacuum tubes. The third generation of computer using the integrated circuit and short form IC. The fourth generation of computer using microprocessors that consist of small silicon chip and which thousands of circuits are placed. It is more smaller, cheaper, for able to use less electricity and produce less heat. From this history I have talked about right now, we can see there are several factors that encourages the changes in every generation of computer. First and foremost, in the first generation of computer, we have known that its very great size that took a lot of space has to make the computer once again being modified into more smaller size. The second factor was computer making costs due to its big equipment and took a lot of space. Computer are modified into a small and lighter thing so it goes on making that computer are way cheaper. Its components and equipment was being minimalized. If you compare to the latest computer, you can see a lot of differences including to its electricity consumerism. Silicon chip application also brings a lot of advantages to nowadays compared to the integrator and vacuum tubes used because silicon chips contains thousands of circuits that can minimize the electricity consumerism. Computer did 
designed to be portable so it can be easily moved from one place to another. Compared to nowadays computer, the first generation of computer was too heavy and to be massive for human to bring along so humans start to create something more like the like laptop so it can be portable everywhere and every time thank you